Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a fun little review to do. Got our hands on a couple of these Vulcan V100 training paddles. They are tiny. So we're going to go out and hit these real fast. We're headed to the courts right now. We're going to go out and see if we can hit these a little bit. They are they're super light. We may have to put some uh, lead weight on them just to kind of keep track of where they are and not have to swing too hard assuming we can even hit the sweet spot over and over again at all. So we're excited to go out and hit these. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're headed out right now. Hope you are too. Hope to see you there. Be right back. Hey guys, just got back from the courts playing with these Vulcan V100 training paddles. They were harder to hit than even I thought they were going to be. As I suspected, they only weigh about 5.1 ounces, so we put some lead weight on it because we found we were traveling, having to swing, even doing dinking drills, we were having to swing way too hard and we didn't want to reinforce any bad habits there. So we kind of taped it up, as you can see, we put a lot of lead tape on them to get them up to a little bit over seven. So we could mimic a more natural stroke back and forth. Still, they are hard to hit. That is a tiny, tiny sweet spot. But once you got kind of in a rhythm, once you got used to watching the ball like we should, you had, and being, completely still before you swung. If you were moving and too many things going on, just like we shouldn't do, then it was almost impossible to hit. So you got into these good rhythms of watching the ball, getting really still, getting your eyes still, and then making your strokes. And then you kind of, you got a hang of it and you could hit the ball. Now, this is just a piece of wood here. It's not like our normal paddles that have this deflection and kicks the ball back and you can move the ball a little bit. You did still have to swing a little bit. There were no baseline rallies with these because it was just too hard to hit that far. But as far as dinking, some resetting, stuff like that, you could do it. And you got into a pretty good rhythm. And we noticed that once we put these down, got our regular paddles out and started doing some drills, that the good habits carried over. And that's really the goal. So we had a lot of fun hitting these. Um, 
yes, they were frustrating sometimes, but it was a lot of fun. So I'd recommend it, if, if you, especially if you're an instructor and you're teaching classes, um, adults, kids, any of them. I mean, it just, it's, it's, they're kind of fun. It's a little different and kind of teaches you some good habits as well. So anyway, we enjoyed it. If you've tried them, hey, let me know. Uh, you know, send me a message. How much fun, uh, how much fun, how frustrating it was for you as well. So anyway, like, as always, hit like, hit subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're getting out there and playing. Try one of these Vulcan V100s. They're fun to hit. So anyway, bye guys. Get out there and play. We're headed out there as well. Yeah.